Microsoft Word 2010. Apply columns to a portion of a document. In this scenario, what we would like to do is apply multiple columns to a portion of our document, not the entire document. This is actually fairly easy inside Word 2010, but I do want to do something before we get started, and that's turn on my show hide characters. By turning that on, we can see all of our non-printing characters. We can see the little paragraph breaks, and the spaces between words are denoted as little dots. Now, when we go ahead and use the columns function, it's also going to show us what Word does behind the scenes to make columns work. I want to make this Espresso Yourself Equal Opportunity Employment Statement to columns. So what I'm going to do is click at the beginning of this, hold down my shift key and click at the end, and you can select using whatever method you want. But I'm going to select only the portion of my document that I would like to have multiple columns. Now I'm going to go up to my Page Layout tab. Inside the Page Layout tab is a Columns button. The Columns button is in the Page Setup group. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to choose Two Columns. And now, only that section of my document has two columns. If I scroll up, I can see there's one column for that text, and if I scroll down, there's one column there. Only this portion has two columns. Now, what Word did is it added in a couple different section breaks. You can see these dotted lines here. And I don't have to do this. In fact, I normally wouldn't, but I want you to see what it put in here. So I'm just going to hit Enter. And you can see that it put in a section break continuous. And down here at the bottom, it did the same thing. If I hit Enter again, you can see section break continuous. So what Word did is actually made this portion of the document into its own section and applied the column rule that I set, two columns, to this section of the document. If I decide I want one column here, I just go back to columns and choose one. I didn't have to select the text this time. I just had to be inside that new section that Word created for me. If I come back to columns and choose three, it'll apply three columns to that region or section. So it's become very, very easy in Word 2010 to add multiple columns. The key is to start by selecting your text and then using the columns function here on the page layout tab. To edit that and change it up to different settings, simply go back and change it there. If you do want something more than what you get here, you can go to more columns and set it more specifically. There's one, two, three columns here. You can have a column over to the left or a column over to the right if you want it uneven. And if I was going to use two columns, which I am, I'll leave this set at two, but I can also say what the column width will be. So if I bump the column width up a little bit, the spacing between the columns goes down. So I'm going to click OK. Now the columns are wider and the space between or the gutter has decreased. Stemming from this column button in our page layout tab, there's a lot we can do to create really nice columns as a portion of a document. If you're looking for more tips on Word 2010, check out our library.